Hey guys, um, been a long time since I've done a video and a little bit of a blog. So um, today, just having some um, emotional stuff and going through some different um, issues with pertaining to all sorts of stuff that happen in life, right? And it, it gave me a bit of an insight into how I could actually physically show um, you guys what um, depression looks like for me and what anxiety is. But I talk a lot about my emotional cup. So what I've done, I'm gonna do a little bit of experiment for you and show you what I mean. Um, so what I've got here is my emotional cup. At the moment, um, it's empty, uh, I'm having a great day. Um, but that emotional cup fills up with so many different things. And where it decides to spill out and how quickly it fills depends on the severity or the amount of things that are in there. All right, so if we look at this, I've got some water jugs here, and they all represent different bits and pieces and different things that happen in our life. So on a daily basis, we all incur some sort of emotion. Um, now, that might be that we're having um, an argument with a loved one, or we're having some issues with work, um, or we're having some issues with money. Um, we might go and have an issue with a friend. We may run late from work or get cut off in traffic, which gives us you know, a little bit of an outburst. That's just a little one. Um, we may find that we get cut off in traffic. We have someone who's taking a long line, long time in line at the coffee shop. You have a bad phone call. Then you come home and you've had a bad day at work and you know, power goes out and your fridge is stuffed. So as you can see, each little emotion has filled my cup. So then I get to the point where it might be something else that, and it's completely the wrong person, and, I, and I'll use you know, my darling wife as an example. She may bring up a topic that um, tips me over the edge. It's something that I didn't want to talk about. I've had a bad day. She doesn't know that, doesn't need to know. That's not her problem. But all of a sudden, I've had the outburst. Now, she's the one who coughs the spray because my emotional cup is full. Now it didn't say where it was gonna spill out or who it was gonna spill out at. So then, because that cup's still full, I may have an issue with someone at work or a guest or a customer. Again, look, it keeps spilling out and spilling out and spilling out until I actually get time to walk away, reflect, and actually diffuse that cup myself purge my emotion, have an hour, two hours, whatever it takes, and I empty it. Knowing that warning sign is the hardest thing for any of us that suffer from depression and anxiety and bipolar, um, self-harm, all those types of things. All I can say is that every time you talk about your problem, every time you share it, that cup empties. So, me being able to sit there and talk to you right now is a bit of um, self-care. And it helps me empty this cup. It helps me give myself, myself clarity and some insight into others, which also actually gives me self-worth. So um, I suppose in the essence of you know, my top, you all know that I help a, a charity uh, live it, and our mantra is that it ain't weak to speak. When you speak, you help them empty your cup. When you fill that cup all the time and you don't give yourself time to breathe, you don't give yourself time self-care to just go out and be mindful and just take a moment to relax, the cup spills out and you usually, and more often than not, you hurt the person closest to you because you'll have your abuse, anger, yell, scream, be sad, be over-emotional when you don't need to be. So. I hope that gives you a little bit of insight into what um, depression is like. And um, you know what? 
onwards and upwards. Have a great day. Remember your actions today to find who you are tomorrow.